if God has given you a dream, uh, whatever you may have encountered and caused you to break that apart, whatever the instruction were, the dimensions of it, uh, the seed of it, that it's the nature of God and the will of God, uh, that at some point in time, that if God has given it, uh, God wants it to be used. God wants it to be uh, included. God wants it to be incorporated. So whatever God has given you, if God has given you something and you have broken it a dream, then uh, it is the will of God and the desire of God that he restore that. So basically that's the track we're on is how uh, to get our dreams back if we've lost our dream or broken our dreams or they become fragmented to get them back. Uh, to bring us up to par, I want to uh, reiterate uh, the definitions, the definitions of, of what a dream is and then we will go forward. There was uh, basically uh, three statements that we gave uh, last week. So if we can basically look at the definitions of those dreams. Basically, what is a dream? Uh, first of all, we said it, it's a condition or an achievement. <clears throat> is a condition or an achievement. And you remember by heart? All right. So the condition or an achievement that is long for... And aspiration. Now, remember we mentioned the word aspiration also has the, the root meaning of the fact that it's something that you, I mean, exhale and inhale. It's, it's your breathing. It's your life pulse. Uh, a dream of owning your own business. Uh, could, that could be a dream. Now, when we talk about dreams, even though we're uh, going to be sharing from a biblical perspective, when we talk about dreams, we're not just talking about uh, something that has to be related to the church, per se. Okay. We're not talking about something that has to be necessarily related to what we call uh, 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 the ministry per se. I mean, all, all things are ministry. But when I say ministry, people think about a dream of being a preacher or a prophet or an apostle or an evangelist or something like that. I, I, I'm talking about uh, here something that's in your heart that God has birthed in, put it in you. And I'll explain later that it's a longing inside of you. It's an aspiration. It's something you're breathing inside of you. And it literally came from God. Now, even though we're going to use Joseph here as an example, but you discover the dream that God gave Joseph literally ended up being in a, a, a governmental or political arena. So when people, when you say God about a dream and, uh, and God giving you a dream, don't just minimize it or, or, or put uh, boundaries on it that it all, it just has to do something with, uh, you know, you being a preacher or deacon or something, all right? We're talking about dream. We're talking about something bigger than you are right now. Okay. Secondly, a dream is an inspiring picture of the future that energizes your mind, will, and emotions, empowering you to do everything you can do to achieve it. Uh, and that's a quote from John Maxwell. Now look at the statement. A dream is an inspiring picture of the future that energizes. So the dream that you have the dream that you have literally will energize your mental makeup. How many of you understand the way your mind is made, it has to be stimulated with something outside of, of the norm, or else it'll get dull. So if there's a dream, something that you have a longing for, an aspiration for, literally will be what lives inside of you ha, whoo, that energizes your mental makeup. When things are going rough, if you hold on to the dream, the dream will literally talk to you. It energizes your mind. All right, your mind is what makes up of your, your will, your emotions, your feelings, and all of that. Okay, so it's, it's energizing you. Whenever everything was to shut down, it, it's energizing you, and you keep going, your will and your emotions, empowering you to do everything you can do. In other words, everything lawful and legal inside, it empowers you that you'll be actively doing that. Okay? All right. Many of you know that I wanted to be able to play what? Piano for a long time. Well, three years ago, I started the journey. All right? And the times that I wanted to play when I had that time, uh, because I, there's something I want out of that soul that it literally energized me. And, and yes, went through that bang, 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 bang when my wife was going bang, bang, nuts, you know, bang, 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 bang. But she's not going bang, bang, nuts now because uh -huh, I've gotten far enough now that when it plays, he said, oh, oh, but guess what? She had not seen it all yet. There's more coming, all right? All right, so energize you. Th thirdly, a dream or dreams can be the most powerful thing in your life, but your dream must be big enough to pull you through the transitions 
in your life. In other words, your dream has to be big enough that it literally will pull you through areas of your life when you're going through certain things, challenging times or whatever. Your dream has to be big enough that it'll actually pull you. When, when you when, in other words, when stuff is going on that literally could hold you in a spot, your dream has to be big enough to pull you along. It's almost like a, a, a dog, a sledge dog, just pulling you along through life, pulling you along, okay? Uh, and that's going to be very important. Now, we mentioned that big enough to pull you through the transition of your life. Transition is a process or a period in which something undergoes a change and passes from one stage, state, stage, form, or activity to another. Now, right there for a moment before we go. That's why it's critical to, uh, to get the dream and to realize the power of the dream. And it has to be big enough to pull you through the transitions in your life. Transition or stages that you go through, process you go through. Because here's what you have to understand about dream. Uh, uh, God gives you a dream in seed. And in time, it takes shape. No dream has all the shape when you're given it. All right? It, it's like every, every person sitting in here, at some point in time, you were a seed. As you were implanted, fertilization, you began to take shape inside your mother's womb. But from the time that it was an implantation of seed and fertilization, you did not have the formation that you have now. So it took time for you to what? Take shape. Every dream takes shape. And matter of fact, if you have to be careful about dreams because... When you first get a seed, you may think you know how it looks. So you